what's up guys hey today guys hey we are going to lunch we're going to try max's it's in glendale california and i've never been to max's but someone told me i guess you know a, a friend of a friend told me try max's fried chicken and i was like dude look look who you talking to you mean to tell me they got really great fried chicken he said man they fried chicken is really good i said okay i'm gonna go try it out i'm gonna try some other things but let's have some fun let's go out here and check it out so hey let's do it what's up guys we just got seated at max's we actually gonna try this fried chicken i was looking around everybody got fried chicken everybody got some good food on their table and i was like man 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 it must be good i mean it's it's, it's kind of funny because you see so many people with it you know, I've never went to a place where that's all you see is every other table with that fried chicken. So, you know me with my fried chicken, guys. I'm just letting y'all know. You know, I'm gonna let you know if that fried chicken is great. You know, if it's average, we're gonna, we're gonna let you know about that. But we're also here to have fun. And, hey, and we're gonna give you some history because you probably already know the history of Max's. Because I know it started in the Philippines, but we're gonna, we're gonna let you, my wife gonna tell you a little bit more about Max's when it started. Here we go. So Max started, Max started in 1945 after World War II. Maxim, Maximo Gimenez. He was a Stanford educated teacher who became friends with the American occupation too in Quezon City. And the soldiers often visited him for drinks and steak and chicken. And then his niece, Ruby, created that special chicken recipe, and that's how Max's chicken was born. And it is no known for tender, juicy, crispy chicken that all the Filipinos came to love, and they always order it. So we're gonna check out how awesome this tender, juicy, crispy chicken is at Max's. Thank you. All right, y'all heard it. And she kind of, I thought she was at school the way she was saying that to you guys, but you know, she was a little bit nervous, but that's okay. You know, she's gonna get used to it, but uh, we're definitely gonna try this chicken. And we, what she told y'all, she know the history of it. So, hey, we gonna do it. We definitely gonna do it. Because I just seen two big plates come out again. Two big plates of fried chicken. So, it, man, I'm telling you, I can't wait right now, man. I can't wait. And uh, I'm hungry too, I haven't eaten yet either. It's lunchtime for us. So, you know, I'm just gonna sit, I'm gonna drink me some water, you know, I'm gonna drink some water and just wait for that, that juicy fried chicken come out. So we gonna get back with you. I'm gonna get back with you, I'm gonna let y'all know. All right, here we go, man. I got my food, baby. It looks good. Hey, I got this Senegal shrimp soup right here. It looks good. It's, it's tamarind. Tamarind is in it. So that looks good. I like that. So we, because it's lunchtime, we eat light. We eat light, guys. A little healthy, but the fried chicken ain't gonna be healthy. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Look at that. That looks good. Oh my God. Lord have mercy. It looks good. Oh, damn. Okay, here go the fried chicken. So we got a half of fried chicken, because we really want to try it. So, because we didn't want to do a whole one. We didn't want to do a whole one, guys, in case it wasn't, you know, like they said it is. So we did a half to try it out. And if it's good, we gonna ask for the other half. <laughs> we gonna ask for the other half if it's good. So let me get started on this. Let's see what I'm working with first. Uh, I'm going, no, I'm going to leave that for last. The finale. The finale for last, guys. I got some rice over here, you know, and I don't know if I'm going to eat the rice with the soup or do I eat it by itself. Let me, let me see. I'm going to grab this out of here. Grab this soup. Man, it looks good. The eggplant. That's eggplant in there, yeah. That's the eggplant right here. Look at that. This eggplant. Yeah, that looks good. Got the shrimp, got, got tomatoes. Uh, look like it's bok choy. I think it's bok choy. The, the meat of the, 
the leaves. You know what? The leaves could also be the lotus leaves. No, that's bok choy. That's bok choy. Yeah, that's bok choy. So I'm gonna try that with that. So let me try this out first. I really want to try the the soup out first. So let's try this soup out, guys. Cause you know, let me see. Let me see. Remember, it's gonna be a little sour. Oh. No, 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 no. It's on point. You know what it is? I didn't like that, that um, sour, taste. The sour taste, but for some reason, oh my God, I love it. This is good. Mm. 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 I'm working. Mm. Look at that shrimp. Look at that shrimp, baby. That shrimp look good. Take that head off. Oh my God, all, all the goodness. All the goodness, look at that. All the goodness coming out. Mm. Mm. Oh. See that one right there? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. That's good. This is good. I need a little rice. I get some rice with this. Then work with that with some rice. So, but I think it goes good with it. The flavor is, God, this is, honestly, I'll be honest with you, this one right here, I, I think personally, this is the best soup that I've had. This one right here, it is really, I'm not gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put it on the side, because I think I want it on the side. I think I want this on the side with the rice. So, get that over here with that. Put that on the side. Give me a little bit more, because you know, I'm, I'm kinda, y'all got me rice now all the time. I didn't eat this much rice, you know what I mean? But, you know, like, someone told me, rice is life, you know what I mean? So, I really believe it. I really do. I really, really do. Mm. 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 Do a little rice, get a little soft, right? Take this, put that on, with that. Look at that, look at that. Mm. 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 Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh my God. This is good. This is the best one I hear. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Mm. Put a little rice, put a little, the rice and that together. That's a, that's a banging combination right here. This is banging, baby, banging. Mm. I'm telling you, the eggplant, the shrimp, that bok choy, the tomatoes, you know, that, the tamarind. And that tamarind is not like, it's like really, really, really like overpowering. It's like a perfect smooth taste with it. I love it, I love it. Mm. So the tamarind binds it. Oh yeah, it does, it does. I love this, oh man. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's real good. And I'm not even done with this, guys. Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Look how beautiful that looks. That looks beautiful. Really good, real, real good. And I, you know, I really want to know what this one is right here. So I gotta taste it. Let me grab the whole thing. Cause I gotta taste this. So let me use my hand on this. I think that's white radish. Let me see. I think that's the date pound. That's the date pound. Yeah. Cause that radish, radish. That's good. It's really good. That's good. Oh. Mm. Ah. It's good. It's all the flavors just this just come together and just make it to give you that, that, that goodness. 
that goodness and then that rice the rice and this together i didn't want to mix it but sometimes you gotta mix it because it gives you that, that good flavor so all right let's move this over for a second and let's work with this now this is what we came here for the star of the show the star of the show so the one of these on my mouth i'm a first fry banger i love first fry all right we got this the banana sauce. The banana sauce, guys. Taste the chicken without it first. I am. I'm gonna taste it without it. Chicken without it. Is it a home run? Damn. I'm surprised. Where you at? I gotta get my other half. I gotta buy my other half. Look at that. Look at that chicken, guys. That chicken looks good right there. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Look at it. Crispy. Crispy. Tender and juicy. Juicy, tender. The whole bang. Everything. Mm. Whole shebang. The whole shebang. Mm. Look at that piece. Looks good. Real good. Wow. And they told me to they told me to take some banana sauce. The banana sauce. This sauce. Let me put my hands out the way so you can see. They told me to put this in there, on there. And then they told me to take what else? Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do what they told me to do. Do I mix it? I put them side by side and dip them. Okay? So they told me to take this. I didn't think y'all, you know, had this over there, but you know, in the Philippines, but take both. So I'm gonna mix them. Hot sauce too? No. I ain't put putting them. No, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna dip these two in here. Dip them in both of them. So I got them both. Let's see. Oh! Mm. That's good. I like that. Man, you know something? You put french fries and whiskey. Yeah, I can mix both of them. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Look at that. Love, baby. Love. <laughs> that was right. Mmm. They know how to do fried chicken. They know how to do fried chicken. It's nice. It's not salty. It's crispy. It's moist in the middle, which, which is good. Moist, which juicy in the middle. I ain't gonna say moist. It's juicy in the middle. It's crispy. It got the crispiness on the outside. That's how you know they know how to do it. And it's not salty. The season is like perfect. The salt, you can taste on there. It's perfect. It's not over seasoning, it's not too much. Like some people over season stuff. This is like perfect, the chicken is perfect. Everything is perfect with this. They really know what they are doing on here. So, mm. I got soup, I got my rice, I got the shrimp. Big ones too, baby, big ones. Yes. If you've never been to Max's, I have never been to Max's, it's my first time, please come and try Max's out. And I, I know at one time someone posted something, you know, on, on a channel and said they didn't already care for Max's. And it's not there because I didn't want to go there, I just, I just never been there. You know what I mean? But I don't know what they're talking about. This is good. I know this much. The fried chicken is good. The soup is good. So guys, please come and try Max's out, you know, over in Glendale. So you, you I'm telling you, it's right by down the street from our mall, Glendale Mall. So Glendale Galleria. So guys, you can't miss it. And the food is great. So guys, please, guys, check it out. And have some fun. And, and, and love some good Filipino food. All right, guys. Next time, I'll holler at you. Peace.